in this tutorial we want to draw this logo here using Inkscape 1.0 or Inkscape in general so the first thing i'll suggest you do is you go to the create style and polygon tool and then change this to regular polygon and then the corners choose six and then we draw our polygon now with our polygon drawn go to the select tool and as these handles are here press again so you double you click first to get those points and uh, handles and click again to get the rotating handle and then we rotate it in such a way that it lies and looks something like this now the next thing we want to do is to smoothen these corners a little so that we have the shape that we have here for us to be able to do that first go to path object to path and then go to object no still go to path and then path effects then this dialog box opens when it opens goes to plus and then choose corners corners here now go to the node tool and then you see these nodes here we want to smoothen them so to do that you click on each node you can click on each node and um if you click on it you choose numbers here to update you can also just click on the node here and shift and then this dialog box opens now let me change this to one and let's see how it looks like let this be fillets modify i think it's right this we don't need to round this a lot now we want to modify these corners as well after this now we select this node we and then go to shift to get this popping up and let's give it for example 10 the node this time 10 and have fillets on let's see i think this is good then we give this also 10 we go to this node we go to shift for this to pop up and then we give it also 10 we mo modify it and then we come here and maybe this we give it maybe 15 let's try with 15 to see how it looks like so shift and then this pops up and then we give it 15 i think it's good because we don't want it's to be too smooth we want something like a small this place to be a bit straight so i would say this this suffices for us and then we come here and we do the same thing here we press this we go to shift and then we put 15. I think we are good I it looks more or less this is more or less symmetric in a way now we go and select go to the selection tool and then we make a duplicate of this you can make a duplicate by going to edit duplicate or simply click left click and then go to space bar and now let's give this a different color just for a uh, distinction and if you i don't know if you if for us to see i'll suggest you go to the fill and stroke and then you go to the fill and then please change the alpha channel because if, if we want to make it a bit transparent so move it here if the alpha channel is 100 it's totally opaque so make it a bit transparent by moving it to the left a bit and then let's see here with this um stretch or squeeze handle go to shift and move this in a bit 
we move it a bit in yeah think something like this is okay now we select it again and then we um, left click space bar to get a, a copy let's give it a different color more so that we it's for us to just to see what we are doing then we go to also shift um, shift and then we reduce it a bit yeah i think this is good we left click and then we go to the space bar again to do a copy we do we change the color again to something different and then we shrink that as well shift and then we uh, i think this is good as well at the same process left click we do our duplicates by space bar change color you can most always make sure you click so that you have the uh, the handle bar points like this not for the rotation but for the shrinking oh. And we go in a bit yes and then we do again our left click space bar we change color then we come here and shift and then we go in a bit again yes then we come here we do our uh, duplicate so to do duplicate again left click and then space bar we choose a different color we come for our hand and then we move it in again we we do two more so left click space bar different color this here move it in again we do our last one i think the we do this left click space bar we give it a different color we come and do left shift and then we okay now the next thing we do is let's select everything and then we give we give them a stroke so we, if you go to your fill and stroke and then now choose stroke paint with the stroke paint i think maybe we should choose um here be in with the stroke paint because we do not have a stroke now i let's choose this color for example choose this color for the stroke sorry for you to choose the stroke color here Go, you have to go to shift and then we choose the color now we have our stroke in place we want to now um, put the colors that we have here you can then for me to go first but you can look at the colors by choosing from here but for us to go first to get to this quickly I'll just use this uh, pick color from image to so I go first I have to select whichever part here select the first one and then I use this to just pick the colors here so we can go quicker but you can pick the colors down there this we pick this we use our this and then I pick this color here I go here I think this and this are the same shades so i select i come here and select in um, our uh, pick color tool and then i pick this color and then i come here so sorry i come here uh, to select this i use my pick colors from then i pick this yeah and then I come here 
I select the next one and then I go to my this uh, I pick this color for example I'm beginning to think this even looks nicer with the green here so I will leave it at a I won't continue putting the brown I think this looks nice thank you for watching please help me by subscribing to my channel